Hi everyone, so this is going to be a really really random video, it's not about beauty or fashion, it's just me sitting on my bed and just talking to you guys because I was thinking to myself about, for some reason, I don't know, I was thinking that about bad manners and my pet peeves, so that's what I'm going to talk about to you guys. And also, oh, excuse the quality, it's going to be a really bad quality because it's night time and I just have my lamp on. But I promise you I'll have good quality videos soon because I finally today got my camcorder charger and my camera is charging at the moment. So yeah, expect good quality videos again from me. And I want to show you this thing really quickly. Look at this gorgeousness. It's actually an advent calendar, which my cousin, my best friend, well, she's the best cousin in the world, and she made this for me. And I think it's simply fantastic. I know it's too late that I'm to show this to you guys. You cannot make it to your friends anymore. I mean, like December, the month of Advent has already started. So basically, every day I have something for me. I had some really, really good candies already, and I have a little note. So she just marked marked days and. You know, every day I have a little surprise for me and I hang it in my room and just... This thing is really huge and big, but I love her for little, well not little, for surprises like that. She's an extremely creative person, I must say. So, yeah, I really wanted to share that with you and of course I got another, like, you know, your usual advent calendar with like little chocolates and my mom got this for me for me and my brother, she gets those every single year <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous because I'm 20 years old and I still have my advent calendar with little chocolates every single day waiting for Christmas like a child basically and my mom said, you know, when she bought I don't know if it's a proper thing to still buy this for you but here you are, I said, mom, I'm still a child inside. Oh, by the way, my little kitty is here with me. She's just sleeping around on my pillow and on my bed, whatever. So, okay, I'm gonna talk about my pet peeves, as promised. So, I don't know where to start. I have so many pet peeves. What I really hate about people is bad manners. I hate when people have bad manners, they don't know anything about etiquette. I think it's... Well, we are not animals, we are humans. We need to have some kind of rules for our behavior, you know, to behave properly. And I think every decent person has to read a book of etiquette and good manners. You have to know how to behave. For example, I have so many pet peeves when it comes to being at the table. First of all, I cannot stand people smacking on their food and I think it's the pet peeve that most of the people have because, you know, I'm here at the table to eat and when you are smacking your food, my appetite is gone. Like, Okay, I, I know you're eating, but I do not want to hear you eating. I do not want to hear how you're chewing your food. That, that, that's just gross to me. <laughs> like, cannot you just shut your mouth, eat silently and do not distract other people? I know you're enjoying your food. I am enjoying mine, but like my father, he's the worst chewer ever. Some people do not even realize that they might be that they might be distracting others. But yeah. another one is when people just uh, scratch their knife or fork on the plate. Oh my goodness, that sound! It gives me goosebumps all over my body. It just whew, even when th I think about it, it gives me shivers. 
And you know some people hate the when someone goes with chalk, chalk, chalk on the blackboard. That sound. I really hate that also. But knife or fork on the plate, ugh, it's just worse for me. I hate it. when people just clean their mouth and they throw the napkin into the plate like this and have some culture. You're supposed to tap your lips and like put your napkin nicely. Even fold it sometimes. It would be even better and not just do this and like smack it there in your plate. No. Another one. I really hate this. When people are at the table and they do like this, they occupy the whole table. Are you animal or something? Why do you lay on the table? You are not supposed to put your elbows and to just like eat your food like this. You sit straight and put your wrists on the table. You don't have to put your elbows. I mean, what's the point? Are you like the king of the table? Whatever. I just. I don't like it. I'm sitting like this, eating my food, and someone is like this in front of me. I hate bad drivers. I really hate them. First of all, people that cut you off, they would just... You're driving, and someone just crosses the road, like, in front of you. I hate that. Are you a freaking <laughs> adrenaline fanatic or something? Second one is when people do not show their the indicators. Are they called indicators? I don't know. When they do not indicate whether they're turning to the right or left. Okay, I'm driving behind you and there are two ways to turn. How the hell am I supposed to know where you're gonna turn? I'm not I'm not a future tell teller to know where, where you're gonna turn. I hate that. Is it so hard to click this damn indicator? Third one is when someone is driving as fast as a turtle. I mean, okay, there's a speed limit, but when you're going like like at 20, 30 kilometers per hour, you are like, okay, you are relaxed, you are not hurrying everywhere, anywhere. But if I'm in a hurry and I'm behind you and you're blocking the road and driving so fastly and there's no way to, for me to turn, you don't don't let me pass through. You know, I hate those people that sometimes, you know, I'm the person who is coming everywhere at the last minute. I know I'm often late, that's really bad, but... I hate when I'm late and people block my way, I just hate that. Just let people pass by, you know, do not block the way. Or some people might just stop in the middle of the road for god knows what reason. They would just stop and you're driving. And how the hell am I supposed to know that there's no one behind me? If you stop, I have to stop and if there's someone behind me, he or she will crush my car and I don't want that so turn turn to the side do not stop on the road okay another one well I cannot think of any right now oh the people that do you know you you want to change your line and people would not let you do that they would just be like no I'm gonna I'm not gonna let you come to this line no like get away like is it <laughs> come on will you be late somewhere is it so hard it's the sign of politeness to let someone take take your line you know Just let them pass let them in people standing in the line and they're pushing you from the back they they would some like they would be so close to you that you would feel them touching you. I hate that. Like, give me some space. Are you... <laughs> you know, if you push me, if you are so close to me, it doesn't mean that the line will move faster. Just back off. Give me some, give me some personal space. When you would hold the door for someone and the person would not say thank you. It's really bad manner. 
of the one that I hate so 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 much and a lot of my friends do that when you meet with a person and they're constantly on their phone they're texting someone or I don't know what else they're doing on their phones they're constantly keeping their their phones on their hands like okay you came to meet me I spent my time you know I came to meet you to spend my time with you you came to meet me for the same purpose to spend some time with me so why do you need to have your phone constantly with you to text to someone you know after you leave me then text someone or say I'm really sorry I have to text back it's really important it's your mom or someone like you absolutely need to text even if it's your mom you know she will wait I mean if your house is not burning like why would you why cannot you just text her back later I really really hate that and a lot of my friends do that you know one time you do that second time you do that I don't say anything but I do notice that and if you keep doing that on and on I'm not gonna meet you anymore I'm not gonna waste my time being with you while you are not being with me you're being with your phone just are you some business person is your business running down like you absolutely need your phone some people just are just obsessed with their phones and I hate that another one that drives me nuts is when people crack their fingers they do this or, or something like this and you hear that cracking sound it's gross to me like especially when girls do that guys when guys do that it's gross but when girls do that oh like <laughs> I hate it another thing that I hate is burping in public places go to the bathroom burp as much as you want but not somewhere where I can hear you you're at the table or at a public any public place <laughs> it's so it's so disgusting to me it's like you show that to me it's like being a complete pig and girls I'm not even getting into that girls barping gross Another one is slow walkers, just as slow drivers. Walk faster or let me let me walk fast. I think girls these days have really really bad manners. Um I like to watch people, you know, observe them. I see every like little detail and you know when I look at the like I would look at the girls how they behave in public places to me a girl has to be classy have good manners no etiquette and all that a girl that that is behaving like a guy and i'm not saying guys are like pigs but you know a girls that are burping that are swearing that are like chewing their gum like loudly that are not apologizing for something that are not saying thank you when you're supposed to thank for something <laughs> to me it's just or, or doing this with their fingers just cracking them or even sitting it's it's not really a pet peeve but when girls sit with their legs like open like guys they sit like this how are you a girl sitting like this Your girl have to be feminine and I have really lots more. I have so many pet peeves actually. I'm one of those persons that has a lot of pet peeves and really values good manners in a person. So but I cannot think of any at the moment. Like leave me comments of pet peeves that drive you crazy and if I can remember some, I will add, you know, to the comment, comments or whatever. So yeah, that's it for the video. Have a good night, guys. Bye bye.